So in Unreal Engine, the most common way to debug or check the values of the variables during runtime is by using the print string node over here. But there is another node in Unreal that I find to be more useful than the print string node in certain cases. And that node is the draw debug string over here. And what makes this node special is that unlike the print string node that always displays a string at the top left corner of your screen, the draw debug string displays its string at a 3D world location. And that means it exists in the level itself. Kind of like how names of NPCs and enemies always fall above them in the level, the draw debug string can be used to display a string at player location. Now this becomes more useful in cases where you need to use multiple print strings at runtime, as differentiating and reading multiple strings at runtime can be very difficult. An alternative method would be to use multiple draw debug strings instead where you can change the location of every string that you want to display. This can help improve readability and make the process of debugging a lot more smoother. So to now quickly explain how to use the draw debug string, you have the text location input pin over here and this pin is used to give your string its location in the level. So you can anchor the string over here like this or you can also make the text move in the level however you want it. After that, you have the text input pin over here, which just like the print string node, allows you to display any string values. And then you have the text base actor input pin over here. So with this pin, you can give an actor object reference, like for example, your player or any other object in the level, and then it will use its location to display the string or text data. So this is a quick and easy way for you to add a string and make it follow an object. You can also change its position by changing the values in the text location over here. The other two input pins over here, that is the text color and duration, works exactly like with the print string node. So I don't want to really repeat it over here. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Hopefully I covered everything that you need to know. And if I missed something, add a comment about it in the comment section so you can help everyone out. So thanks a lot for watching and see you later. Bye.